Hello, welcome to another time of Singles Devotional, KC Video Devotional, 25th of October. The topic we are looking at is how your I do will not become undone. First Peter 3, 7 says, Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and has been heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not in that. The Bible expressly commands that husbands should honor their wives. Honoring your wife here means you should value her contributions, to esteem her highly, and to relate with her with dignity. Amplified Bible explains it better. In the same way, you married men should live considerately with your wives with an intelligent recognition of the marriage relation, honoring the woman as physically the weaker, but realizing that you are joined heirs of the grace, God's unmerited favor of life, in order that your prayer may not be hindered and cut off, otherwise you cannot pray effectively. When you honor your wife as physically the weaker, you will not raise your hands against her. Some uncultured husbands beat up their wives and then say it is the devil. One wonders why the same devil would not pitch you against an army officer. Needless to say, it is unmanly to beat your wife. But you don't have an idea of what my wife did. Well, that's usually the excuse. Beating is sure not the way out. Imagine if your wife is physically stronger than you, she would have beaten you several times too. And some wives really beat up their husbands. I've seen a case or two on that. Resorting to violence in your matrimonial home is another way of saying you have lost control of the headship in your home. Why must I be patient with my wife? Spiritually, God says you must treat her with honor so that your prayers will be answered. You sure don't want to get to a place where your prayers are cut off. In other words, it is not just about your wife now, it's about God. Why is it that God seems to be protecting the woman? The reason is very obvious. In marriage, you are one. When you quarrel with her, fight her, or disconnect with her, you are really doing all that to yourself in the realm of the spirit. You are simply fighting yourself, more or less becoming the enemy of yourself. That way, there is no way your prayers can be answered. Isn't it interesting that in the whole of the scriptures, it is only the Holy Spirit and your wife that are referred to as your helper? May God help you not to see, not to fight your help. What God is saying is very simple. If you want your life to progress, treat your wife with honor. Value her. Treat her like a gentleman would treat a lady. Remember how you were treating her when you were still wooing her? Keep at that and you will have a great home. If you are a single or engaged person and you are already a victim of violence, it is not worth it. If you are being slabbed as a single and you still blindly hold on to the relationship, you will be kicked out after marriage. You don't need a supernatural hand to ride out on the wall for you. If you are hoping it will change after marriage, I'm sorry to bust your bubble this morning. Marriage will not change him. He will not respect you more after marriage. Marriage only empowers a man to do more of what he has been doing while cutting you. That is a blunt truth. And you know, it is a truth that will set you free. There is a difference between cutting a God-fearing gentleman and cutting disaster. If you can sense trouble and you will still go ahead into that relationship, don't blame God later on. God will do all he can to, do, to give you either red light or the green light. He will always do that by his Holy Spirit. The issue is that most people are so much in love that they practically go deaf and dumb. Be real with yourself. When you blindly get hooked with a person who is unrepentant on a character defect, isn't that shooting yourself in the leg? There are some people or there are some problems that are not caused by the devil but by stubborn disobedience. Not just to God but to authority figures who try to warn us. Well, a lot of people will be reading this who already found themselves married to a person they never knew. They feel trapped and helpless. Rather than regret, you can repent. The only way to go is not to give up on the marriage, but to call on a God that gives us a second chance and can bring forth miracles from mistakes. That is your best option. And you know what? It will be there to hear you when you cry unto him. Meditation for the day. First Peter 3, 7. The same goes for you husbands. Be good husbands to your wives. Honor them, delight in them. As women, they lack some of your advantages. But in the new life of God's grace, you are equals. 
treat your wives then as if also your prayers don't run aground. Prayer for the day number one. I bind every force that will cause me to lift my hand against my partner. Prayer number two. I pray that the love of Christ consume me through and through. Prayer number three. Let your peace reign supreme in our lives, family, and home in Jesus' name. Confession for the day. Say this after me. I love my spouse. I will not lift my hands against my wife for any reason. I will not provoke my husband to the point of resorting to violence. I am full of divine wisdom. I know how to handle my family. By the help of God, I will make a good wife and a husband. I will listen to God. I will not be unnecessarily hasty. I am patient in dealing with my partner. The devil will not use my weakness against me in the name of Jesus Christ. Action plan for the day. Decide to never lift your hands against your spouse for any reason. Chronological Bible reading for the day, Matthew 21, 28 to 32, Mark 12, 1 to 12, Matthew 21, 33 to 46, Luke 39 to 19, Matthew 22, 1 to 14, Mark 12, 13 to 17, Matthew 22, 15 to 22, and Luke 20, 20 to 26, Mark 12, 18 to 27, Matthew 22, 12, 23 to 33, and Luke 20, 27 to 14. This particular devotional is taken from a singles devotional book. You can get uh, a paperback edition or Kindle edition on Amazon, and you can also get a digital edition on Okada Books. To get the books, navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandox.com slash books. Also, we'd like you to partner with us on Kisses and Ox Club. It will enable us to reach more people in order to give with different options available from anywhere in the world. Kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandox.com slash give. Also, if you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like to welcome you to worship with us if you don't have a place of worship yet. Uh, Sundays, 8 o'clock. And the church is Shouts of Grace Center at Joker Plaza beside Trans Amusement Park, Bodiga, UI Road. You can miss it. Also, uh, we want to intimate you of our devotional website, which is at kissesandox.com. God bless you. Thanks for joining today. See you tomorrow. Bless you. <music>